It was around 2 p.m. on March 22nd when a pre-K field trip turned tragic. Three minutes away, copy that. Do you see the nose cam? Just two lanes on State Highway 21 in Bastrop County with a speed limit of 60 to 70. On it, a Hayes CISD school bus carrying 55 people, mostly pre-K students, and a cement truck owned and operated by FJM Concrete. The truck veered into the school bus, killing five-year-old Ulises Rodriguez Montoya and 33-year-old Ryan Wallace, who was driving behind the bus. <laughs> Zach Halen with the Truck Safety Coalition says Texas leads the nation in roadway deaths. We're talking about professional drivers in companies supposed to be running professional operations that prioritize safety. If these things were true, we would not be seeing this epidemic of truck crash fatalities. Online records show the two-year-old company FJM Concrete only owns one power unit, a cement pump truck that can weigh upwards of 80,000 pounds. These pumps are all metal. They're very, very heavy, so it's like trying to stop a train. 15. That's the number of years George Chavez has worked as a cement pump truck driver. I've been in a couple of close calls. I say I'm going like 65. It would take me at least about 100 feet to come to a complete stop. The worst part, he says. God, I've been driving sometimes where I like fall asleep and then you hit the side of the road, the rumblers wake you up. We work all sorts of hours. Sometimes we go in at 8 o'clock at night and don't get off to like three, four, five in the afternoon. The federal motor carrier safety regulations limit the number of hours a truck driver can work a week. But according to the Texas Trucking Association, concrete pump trucks are exempt from those regulations, meaning there's not a limit of hours those truck drivers can work. Also, according to the association, there's no state regulations on when, where, or how fast these trucks can operate. There is no minimum requirement for behind the wheel hours to train drivers. You don't have to pass the test to start and run a company, proving you know the safety regulations. Um, and it might be two years later until state or federal officials ever check in to see how you're doing. The fatal crash on SH-21 added two more lives to the upward trend of deaths on Texas roads. People like Zach are saying enough is enough. There's still no minimum number of hours you have to practice driving that truck to drive that truck. The year is 2024. What's going on? Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.